fundamental word here is tox. And tox stands for toxin. We know what toxins are. Toxins are poisons. Now when a toxin gets um, into you, you are said to be intoxicated. For some reason we only think that means alcohol, but you can be intoxicated with all sorts of any, anything toxic. When it gets into your blood, it's called toxemia. You've all heard of the word anemia. <coughs> anemia. Some people have anemia, that means their blood is low. They, you know, women get that, if they have heavy periods, they can be uh, anemic. If you've got some sort of uh, uh, ulcer and you're bleeding inside, you could be anemic. If you have a colon cancer, you could be bleeding. You know, so the loss of blood is anemia, is anemia or, um, or your body's not making enough blood. Anyway, so the thing here is anemia, is emia. Emia. Emia refers to something in the blood. So when you get toxins into your body, whether you've eaten them, drank them, breathed them in, they came in through your skin, however they get into you, they, they finally get to the blood and then they circulate and they get into the tissues. So I take in a toxin, it's in the blood, I have toxemia, and then it gets deposited into my tissues, into my organs tissues and organs and that is called I'm intoxicated or intoxication okay so the word here is tox 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 now so what would be a good thing to do right now would be let's define what we're talking about what is a toxin Anybody have an idea what toxins are? In order for us to really understand what a toxin is, we really have to understand what is the opposite of a toxin. And anybody have an idea? Opposite of a toxin. Huh? Detox. <laughs> Detox. An antitoxin? Actually, a toxin. Something that is not a toxin would mean that you take it into your body somehow and it is incorporated into your flesh and blood. It becomes part of your system. So food does that. Real food. Real food gets incorporated into your flesh and your blood. Okay? Uh, and you breathe air. You've got oxygen, you've got nitrogen, you've got uh, 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 lots of other smaller gases um, and the oxygen gets incorporated into your cells into your, into your blood, so the oxygen so anything, let's define anything that comes into your body that your body can use as food or a nutrient and I think nutrient is a better word than food because food we think of eating but a nutrient is I can breathe in oxygen, so oxygen is a nutrient. I can drink water, so water is a nutrient. Because I'm, my body is going to use the water. It's going to become part of me. So that's nutrients. So, and a nutrients include, of course, food. So that which can be taken in and incorporated into my body is a nutrient. And that which comes into my body that cannot be incorporated, that I have to get rid of, we'll call a toxin.